composure. That's the wrong word. LG Draft Good. Mm -hmm. Patching immediately gets aggressive and just goes to work, baby. Oh, that's what you expect. In this video, I'll be going over the monthly final grand finals games versus Reconic. And if we win these games, we can secure a spot, us being Luminosity. We can secure a spot at the world finals this year. So stay tuned and let's hop in the games. All right, so hopping into Pinball Dreams, they're gonna have the first pick. They're gonna ban the Barley, the Squeak, and the Mr. P, pretty standard first pick bans. I'm not sure why they really bit like to ban those. We don't really play any of those brawlers, to be honest. Maybe Barley, but I guess they felt that that was the best pick. And then on our end, we banned Cord and Shelly, uh, best two brawlers in the game. We didn't really scrim these maps. We're not really familiar, so we kind of just banned the best brawlers in the game. That's usually what you do with second pick. And they're going to pick the Crow first. We're going to go Nita Willow. Uh, we found that we wanted to go Nita, but we also didn't want to face a Willow. And we were like, all right, let's just go both. We didn't really have a mid. We Normally, you pick a mid with your second pick. But we decided we just go a different style. Not really the best, but it works out in the end. So then they're going to go with the Stew. I don't really know why they went Stew into our comp. I don't think Stew is good into Willow and Nita. It's pretty bad into Nita. And Willow... I mean, Willow's just not going to give it a hit. And if it does, Willow's just going to play around the walls. And it's got the super to kind of get it, like, get it away from it. So that's not really going to work out for them. And then if I'm not mistaken here, they're going to go with Primo. And also not get into Nita. And we kind of got a free B game with this. We just realized, okay, we don't have a mid B counters. All three of them very hard. I'd say B, hard counters Crow, hard counters Stu, hard counters Primo. Very easily. They don't really have anything to deal with a B. So jumping in, I'm going to be laning Shine. You know, doing my best to not give him a hit. Charles is going to be laning Chep on the Primo, just trying to get his bear. And then Chino's just going to be slow rolling, trying to kill Frixie. I do get some nice shots on Shine. He does get his hit. But at this point, we already got one kill. Chepo does sneak on Chino there, but he does die anyway. So yeah, we get two kills there. Frixie is chased into a corner by the bear, and I get that final shot to kill him. So that's two. So that's three right there. Shine breaks one, one wall, a singular wall um tries to go around nice jump from chepo actually gets a lot of hits there shine kills me right there too chino's pretty one so they did a really good job defending that actually a uh, nice kind of jump slow just do dash in combo and that gives them full control here i do have my willow super here so i wasn't really too afraid of shine kind of like wall breaking on me anymore um chepo is going to hold his jump here he does wall break and i do miss it because i guess he kind of he just he outplayed me i i don't think that was on purpose him breaking one wall but it worked out for him and they're gonna get the easy goal right there that's just i don't i don't know they they outplayed us that's that's all i can say so they do get the early lead and we're kind of just pushing in again shine goes for another i don't know what his wall breaks were they were pretty questionable wall breaks but we're just gonna steamroll them because of that free kill on shine we got a need a bear that's just gonna push them all the way back and then Charles is going to fortunately chain the Nita Bears. So now we just, we're looking good. Charles got his bear again. I think he's going to throw it down quite soon. We do hit Frixie. We get the kill on Frixie, actually. And then right there, he throws the bear. Shine, I do miss the Willow Super, but he goes down. Chepo goes for the save, so Chino can't trick shot. I was calling him out to trick shot, but he couldn't get an angle. Frixie is going to jump. He gets one shot. And then I'm kind of just going to pass the ball to Charles. And Charles is one hit off Super. Shine forgets the ball exists and that's just an open net number two same lanes actually i probably i don't really know what i would have done about their lanes to be honest shine's gonna go for again he's not really gonna break the inside wall he's gonna kind of break the outside wall and that just leaves me a free shot to just get him a, get an easy kill on him and then over here chepo does go down trying to get a super i do super shine i get frixy very low they both get just absolutely just one shot they're both 200 and 600 so yeah they both get one shotted chepo just che chepo's just trying to get a super nothing really he can do so he does die twice which does end up getting his super but by then we do have need a bear i'm probably close to my willow super again chino has 3k i assume charles is gonna throw his bear sometime soon i'm not really sure when but eventually he will and that's just gonna look good for us i do get some nice shots here on shine 
I get, I think, one here, yep. And then I get him with another one. Kind of a max range will shot, too. And then at this point, I just move up, and he wastes his hit. So I call, I push up, and at this point, uh, Chino goes for a goal. If he wasn't crow damage re reduction, he kills the crow and then scores it. That's unlucky. It's, it's not really the end of the world, though. Um, Charles does, again, another bear. I'm kind of just rolling around the map. Chepo kind of just running away from me. I don't really know what he does. He's just walking around the map, leaves the open net. And we're just gonna take that and that's pinball dreams let's hop into set number doing beetles i know it says pinball dreams but i and they also first pick crow once again and as you can see we banned the cord and the shelly squeak this time as well and then they banned mr p poco lou first pick crow um we've actually had a lot of last picks against uh shy and they tend to first pick the same exact bars on like every map which i mean sometimes it gets very annoying but it's also kind of predictable and it's not you don't really want to be so predictable when you are you don't really want to be so predictable with your first picks because that kind of just gives the enemy team basically a free draft almost every single time and we were like all right we want to go jesse because jesse's very good into crow and we also wanted to go stew so we just said all right let's just go both we, we were trying to draft with like picking one and then picking the other but then we felt the other one would just beat the other like if they went jesse into our stew or we went jesse and then they go stew it's like we just felt all right let's just go both it kind of worked out and the reason it worked out is because you can't really go a thrower into stew you can't really go like a long range to counter the jesse into stew because stew would kind of just run over the long range they do go a thrower anyway which the barley is not going to have a great time and then they go sam i mean sam is all right but the thing is, we have another last pick. And once again, B is open. So we do... Um, B's good into Crow. B's good into Sam. The map's going to be open when I go long dash to wall break. So it's just going to work out perfectly for us. We're going to put the B on the open lane. And we're going to go stew wall break, long dash. And then the Jesse's just kind of going to sit behind the wall. And I'm just going to basically try and target the Barley while the other two are going to target the crow and the sam so the plan is for me to somehow get my hit first probably off the sam and then go for chepo and let my other two teammates deal with the crow and the sam but you know we get a quick double kill uh not too shabby get the hit i forget who the hit was off on to be honest it happened way too fast but we do get the nice wall break already and then i go for another wall break you know i do die t not not a, not a bad like not a good play at all but the only benefit was we got the wall break which not not terrible the wall break is not bad but the but the death was bad so yeah my death gave us they gave them full control but i do use another wall break at the full break on the wall so now the map's like essentially as open as it gets which is still quite open and we're just trying to get control i'm taking chepo as you can see the other two are taking the crow and the sam and we played it perfectly we get the kill i get the kill on the barley get the kill on the crow i don't really know how i did but i did and then they just tag team the sam and at this point, we're just kind of, I'm staying mid here. And then soon enough, I switch over. I take Chepo, let Charlie get the zone because it just works well like that. And then Shine goes in, wastes his gloves. That's just a free kill for Chino right there. And at this point, we're just trying to hold our control as best we can. Chepo is very close to the super, I'm pretty sure. So we try and not feed it too much. But I think I go trying to get a hit. I do feed it quite soon, actually. Yeah, I go in. I do get solo slowed. Actually, he's not even close to my bar, his bar super. I lied, but I do get slowed and I do get caught out regardless. Uh, Chepo with the healing gadget there. They're going to get a nice position. Every time I died, they get pretty easy position because the Barley, yeah, the Barley, there you go. There's a super. They just flush us all the way out. You see that full back right. We're all like very low HP. Frixie does kind of mess up his jump though. And Chino gets the shield off to barely stay alive on 42 HP. So that was pretty lucky for us. If he gets that kill there, it probably would have been different. Shine kind of wastes his knuckles again, and I just decide I'm just going to go for Chepo here. I don't think I kill him, but I get him very low. I still distract him. He gets super one. Charles gets an insane amount of bounces. Shine stays very one shot, does not die though. But I do have my hit here, and I'm just like, all right, I'm just going to run it all the way down. We get a nice little four dash all the way around the map, and we barely get the win right there, both on 100 HP. But it's all good. So game number two. They sort of switch the Sam over and he throws his knuckles across the water and into the others. I don't even know how that happened. And the Jesse bounces were insane. 
I probably should have stayed on shine there, but I was just kind of like focusing on getting my hit and staying on this barley. We also left the zone quite open here, which was not the best. But as you can see at the bottom, I do kill Chepo. Chino gets the kill on shine or Frixie, sorry. And we do get another spawn trap. I'm trying to play a little bit smarter with this break. I, you know, in the first game I did go in, but I, this time I waited to heal up. And then we, I think we kill Frixie. Yeah, he jumps in, he dies. And then we get the slow on shine. Pretty free kill, I'm pretty sure, yep. And then he's just gonna go straight for Chepo, slow him, auto aim him, barely get the shot off. And that's just a nice little double kill there from Chino. Charles gets some good bounces. I'm kind of just trying to get my hit off Shine here. He's playing it pretty well though. I didn't really hit him. But there we do finally get the hit. And then I go straight for Chepo. Every time we get the hit, just straight for Chepo. Can't let him do anything. And then he dies to the stew fire. Charles and the Frixie in the 1v1. Um, Charles has good position, so he's just gonna get free zone time from that. And I do use my last wall break on that little three strand of wall. Dash straight for Frixie, run, run around Shine. He doesn't have his knuckles, he's just, Sam without knuckles is just so funny to me. It looks, it's so goofy. Like he's just, he does no damage. He's just kind of, he's just kind of existing. And we do get the free kill there. He is very one shot. He doesn't die though. And I'm kind of just like shooting nothing. Cause they just, they literally heal all my damage. We do get a nice one shot kill right there. And that was the opening. I got my hit once again. And we just say, all right, I'm just gonna go straight for shine. Like I did the first game. Just dash all the way around. We'll, I think I killed Shepo here. I do kill Chepo, and at that point, the game is over. We do get some nice dashes on Shine. And there we go, we get the win. Let's hop into third So seven. after the Stew Master class, we got on the pit stop. And once again, they do have first pick, which honestly I do find kind of unfair for them. I think every time, like almost every time we've played them, we get last pick a lot, which I don't think the pick advantage really matters too much. It's just kind of a it's it's interesting I don't, I don't really know what to think of it because first pick i think is better in this meta actually so maybe it's better for them i don't know but we do give them cord this time we felt that shelly nita and barley were just better better than cord and we didn't really want to face it and we felt we could just go tar into cord we didn't really think they would think of banning tara and they didn't so it worked out for us and we just felt all right we'll just go the best tank because even though cordelius is going to put the daryl in the dimension the entire time we were planning on going a second tank with last pick, so it's just the the cord the cord can't kill a Daryl and whatever tank it is, like it's a Sam, a Primo, a Buzz, a Bull, even like a Bonnie or something. Shout out to you who picked Bonnie on that map. But they do go with the Rico here. I don't really know why. I don't I feel like Rico is a little bit too overpicked here. The gadget is good, but into Tara and Daryl, that's just not the best. Especially with Cord, you don't really have much damage now. You kind of have to go like a tank too, but Primo's not really too good. So I think they end up going Sam here, right? Yeah, they do go Sam, which also is not very good. We could have gone Edgar here, but I choose to just play Buzz. I felt Buzz was safer. Buzz can just long stun Buzz. Absolutely melts a Sam. A Rico can't really do anything to a long stun Buzz either. So pit stop, we got Tara double tank. We kind of had a plan, but the plan was that there was no plan. So we just ran, we just ran in a straight line and hope for the best. Charles already showing that he ran in a straight line. I ran in a straight line and died. You know, we got one kill. Um, Shine is going to give me a free super right here. We're going to long stun him. And that's just a free kill right there. I'm going to sit next to Frixie. Deny him any damage, trying to get my super here. They do get a better start than us, actually, but I do get a nice stun on Chepo, and I barely, barely kill him in the dimension. We do get that 1v1 diff right there, and I tell Chino I can just defend Shine, which I'm pretty sure I should be able to with that long stun. It's just pretty free for the buzz. Well, not free, but pretty easy, I'd say. And then Chepo has super in. If he puts Chino in the realm, that's just a mistake, because me and Charles are just going to get so much damage. Like, he's going to roll on Frixie. And then I'm gonna go on the safe, and then what are they gonna do? Like, Frixie might get a trade at best, and then I'm just a buzz on the safe, and Chino will just easily defend, because the core doesn't even do that much damage. And I'm still just shooting that safe, getting even more damage and more damage. I get a solid 60% right there. We get a nice little offense right there, but Chepo actually is on the safe, and we do decide to leave him because, you know, a Daryl and a buzz are still going to do more than a cord, but it gets actually very close. I do get a nice stun on Frixie right there. He gets me that one bullet Got me to damage gear, which was the perfect amount of damage to exactly win the game with 100 HP. So yeah, there was no plan. We just 
Straight Line, Straight Line Gaming. Um, that's my favorite organization. If you're signed to Straight Line Gaming, uh, you're one of the best. And Shine is going to also be a part of Straight Line Gaming and get the kill. But didn't really get him too much. Say Charles just goes for the safe. I get a nice stun around the wall. And at this point, we're just running it down. Charles going for the safe. I'm going for the safe. I do get kind of a nice little stun around the pocket here. Chapel does miss his super. I don't really know why I didn't stun again. And Frixie actually got a Rico gadget of a century right there. They had a, basically the best evens they possibly could have. So good for them, actually. But Charles is going to get a nice roll. Going to just kill Frixie on the left side. He's going to get muted. So that's pretty unfortunate. But it happens. We do get a tag team kill on Shine. Chapel once again puts Chino in the realm, which just gets me free damage. I know I get like 5%, but 5% is still 5%. And once again, Chino got his pull. I don't really know what he's gonna do with it, to be honest. He gets put in the realm again. A bit of a mistake by Chepo. Actually, not a pretty big mistake right there. Charles getting a ton of damage. I, putting a tar in the realm is just not. It's just. It's just not. Not the best idea. Like, it's only good when you're on when you're attacking cord. But why would you ever attack cord? So, yeah, it's just. It's just not good. Every time he puts the tar in the dimension, we just get so much damage. Look, we're just double tag teaming. I get put in the realm, so I run away. And I let Charles get free damage, and then he just gets, what, another, like, 20%, 25%. Chino gets a kill on Frixie once again. He got his pull here. I don't really know. Yeah, he's just healing up. Chapo misses the super. He gets just dunked on right there. He gets a double pull. I stun Shine for extra measure. I go for Frixie. Does not work out. But Charles is going to get a solid amount of damage right there. Gets it down to 14%. And at this point, we have to literally go AFK to maybe lose this game by 5% or so. I go for a, a great buzz gadget right there. And it looks like I'm in the middle of everything, but I'm just in a 1v1. And Chepo can't really do anything to me, so I'm just going to sit behind the wall. I do go for an auto aim stun on Frixie. Charles gets put into the dimension. And at this point, they physically cannot win the game. So we're spinning. And Chino does some spins over there. I'm spinning in the back of their map. As you can see, I'm in the dimension. We know we spin in Chepo, we'll get the extra KD boost right there that we didn't get against ST Men. If you know, you know. And yeah, that's gonna be the win right there. Six wins, no losses. And we're gonna take the dub. So yes, if you're wondering, we did officially secure a spot in the world finals. So we'll see you then. So yeah, we will be there. Thanks for watching. Peace.